This past week, there were many sources reporting on different events that came to play in the overall significance of a possibility of escalation into a war between the U.S. and Russia. Apparently, the Russians shot down an AQ-4 drone estimated to cost more than $200 million. The cost is not the most alarming thing. The function of this particular type of drone is to tie in communications between different units and branches in different areas of an operational region. The Russians allegedly shot down the drone with a S-300 interceptor missile over neutral waters of the Mediterranean from Tartus in Syria. At roughly the same time, numerous sources and sites released a tweet from President Trump dated June 20th, 2017, that was worded both vaguely and with the potential for an ominous undertone. While I greatly appreciate the efforts of President of China to help with North Korea, it has not worked out. At least I know China tried. From such a statement, it can be easily surmised that military action is about to occur, taking the form of a potential first strike by the United States. Backing up such an explanation is the fact that President Trump on the 21st of June extended the state of emergency against North Korea in existence with several previous presidential executive orders already in fact. The president extended the state of emergency for yet another year. Plans for military action against North Korea are very much on the table and we are on the cusp. There's also the possibility that the USS Fitzgerald was struck by a type of EMP, electromagnetic pulse attack, by a directed source, either Chinese or North Korean in origin. China readily pursues an EMP first strike doctrine and North Korea has followed suit with them in terms of doctrine in, in technology. While the shooting down of a Syrian aircraft by U.S. forces and the subsequent declaration by the Russians that any U.S. aircraft west of the Euphrates rivers would be targeted, the stakes are visibly being ratcheted up. The North Koreans have two satellites that may or may not be equipped with an EMP device, and the U.S. is approaching the point where military action may occur in a strike against North Korea. The situation changes day by day. In one day, the change may be one that will last for many years, if not permanently. What do you you think is the united states about to attack north korea leave your comments below this video thanks for watching